My name is Thomas Means, aka Utamas, and I will be guiding you through this active meditation. Lord Narasimha is easily accessible to his devotees and punishes those who are evil-minded. He is the savior for the helpless who desire to seek his refuge. When the demigods of innumerable planets bow down to his lotus feet, the bright jewels from their crowns are reflected on his toenails, which give the impression that lamps are being waved in front of them. Unto his lotus feet, Shani Dave, aka the planet Saturn, prostrated and prayed in Brahma's court. Shani Dave said, by the mercy of the dust of your lotus feet, which destroy a multitude of sins, grant infinite auspiciousness to your devotee who always worships your lotus feet with devotion. O Lord Narsimha, please bestow upon me your merciful sidelong glance. Your lotus feet are worshipped by the goddess of fortune, even though she is naturally fickle, and by Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva, whose feet are worthy of worships in of of themselves. O Lord Narsimha, please bestow upon me your merciful sidelong glance. By contemplating or meditating on your appearance, which is expounded on extensively in the Vedas, the best of saints become liberated from the threefold miseries and all misfortunes. O Lord Narsimha, please bestow upon me your merciful sidelong glance. By the word of his devotee Prahlad, Lord Hari, who is generous and kind, appeared from a pillar and by placing Hiranyakashipu on his thighs, split open his stomach with his nails. O Lord Narasimha, please bestow upon me your merciful sidelong glance. You protected your devotee Prahlad from a raging fire, the deep ocean, falling off a tall mountain, poison, a mad elephant, and the fangs of poisonous serpents. You are omnipresent and supremely generous. O oh, Lord Narsimha, please bestow upon me your merciful sidelong glance. By meditating on he whose great form is devoid of imperfections, the best of saints attain liberation from the ocean of materialistic attachments and reach unmitigated salvation. O oh, Lord Narsimha, please bestow upon me your merciful sidelong glance. By meditating on he whose form is fearsome, all peace, happiness, and prosperity can be obtained. All sins can be obliterated, and the fear arising from evil spirits, fevers, and unfavorable planetary positions can be removed. O oh Lord Narsimha, please bestow upon me your merciful sidelong glance. Your transcendental fame is sung gloriously in all divine assemblies of Shiva, Brahma, Indra, etc and your power is steadfast in removing all impurities. O oh Lord Narsimha, please bestow upon me your merciful sidelong glance. Upon listening to the heartfelt prayer composed by the planet Saturn in the assembly hall of Brahma, Lord Hari, who is ever compassionate to his devotees, spoke to Shani Dave as follows. Sri Narasimha said, O oh Shani, I am pleased with your devotion. Whatever it is you desire that will benefit the world, ask for it and I will grant it. Sri Shani Dave replied, O oh Lord Narsimha, reservoir of compassion, please be kind to me. O oh Lord of all gods, let my day, Saturday, be your favorite day. O oh purifier of all the worlds, may you fulfill the desires of all those who read or listen to this great prayer to you composed by me. Sri Narasimha said, Let it be so, O Shani. By virtue of my being the universal protector, Rakshobhuvana, I fulfilled the desires of all my devotees. Please listen to my words. Let there be no fear of the twelfth, eighth, and implicitly all other birth positions and consequent troubles from you or anyone who reads or listens to this great prayer to me composed by you. Shani Dave replied that he would follow the Lord's instructions. Then all the saints and sages present in Brahma's assembly responded with cries of victory. Sri Krishna told Dharmaraj, anyone who reads or listens to this great prayer 
to Lord Narasimha by the planet Saturn in the form of this devotional conversation will certainly have all desires fulfilled and will always rejoice. Thus ends the prayers to Lord Narasimha, the universal protector by the great soul Shani.